a lot of photos, a lot of excited kids, and a lot of happy parents. It's the first day of school, and there are a lot of other firsts across the district. Hi everybody, welcome inside Vancouver Public Schools. I'm Nick Vol. It's the first day of school across Vancouver and nowhere are they more excited than here at Vita, which finally is opening as a K through five elementary school. Last year, Vancouver Innovation, Technology and Arts Elementary School served as a learning lab. Students from every other elementary school spent time here doing project based learning. But now, finally, Vita is welcoming students of its own. We are so excited. We have been working towards this for three years from the planning of the school to learning about instructional methodology to hosting the learning lab for almost 7,000 kids and now we ha finally have our own. So we're, we're elated. What are you excited for here at Vita? What's the, what are you really looking forward to? Doing like projects with a team. How about you Amelia? What are you super excited for at your new school? The playground. <laughs> How excited are you for the first day of school? Really excited. I really like art and this is a project based learning school so I'm really going to like it. How excited are you to have your um, students in this brand new school? I'm really excited. It's a very cool school. Everything is so big and spacious and airy and light. We're really excited for it. I'm super excited. Um, she, The project based learning is really cool. She's been talking about it all summer. I'm going to project based learning school and she's already really good at art and uh, the focus on that is really cool for us. Of course, this isn't the only school opening today, and Superintendent Jeff Snell is trying to get to as many as he can. We caught up with him at the brand new Ruth Bader Ginsburg Elementary School. Dr. Snell was joined by school board members Sandra Zavala Ortega and Tracy Barrows, and Vancouver Education Association President Jamie Anderson. Ruth Bader Ginsburg Elementary, or RBG for short, is a Spanish immersion school. Although parts of the school are still under construction, it's welcoming in kindergartners and first graders this year as it works towards full occupancy. For administrators, seeing these young learners in action is rewarding. I think that there's a lot of lead up that people um, outside of school don't necessarily um, know in preparing for a school year and how excited everyone is to prepare for that school year. And then when the first day actually comes and you see the excitement of the students and the staff, some tears from families as they're dropping off little ones, all those emotions that are wrapped up into the first day is pretty special. It is. It's a lot of fun. I think, you know, we get stuck in a lot of meetings and a lot of um, just in rooms and so to be able to go and um, spend time with students and see how schools are run and our staff and just like say thank you and just see the smiles in everyone's faces I think it just really um, it makes the job worth it. RBG is the final new school to be built as part of the bond measure passed by voters a few years ago. Dr. Snell, the VPS school board, and other district administrators split up to visit every school in the district on the first day, which has become a VPS tradition. And that's just about it for us. We know parents, you guys are excited about this first day of school and are posting on social media. We can't wait to see the photos that you post online. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, I'm Nick Vole.